A few months ago, I said that we were going to play some more Software Inc. Now, if you've been following this channel for a little while, you'll be aware that usually we only play Software Inc. on the channel once per year. This year is going to be a little bit different, and that seems fitting since this is the 10th year of the channel. So we're jumping into hard mode, which is something I've never done in Software Inc. And hard mode, I get the feeling, is going to be well, quite hard. You start with $10,000, although in my case, I'm starting with $20,000 because I'm taking out a $10,000 loan. But where things are particularly interesting is right down here where it says creativity impact on sales. Now, I should say, if you don't know anything about Software Inc., a lot of this is going to potentially go over your head, but it will be explained as the game goes on. And if you're curious, I do have a bunch of other Software Inc. series on the channel. Now, creativity impact on sales in hard mode is high, which means that the creativity level of the project leader will impact the sales of a final product. So this is me, this character right here, and his creativity level is inspiring. It could go higher, but if it does, then he's going to want more things. And he already wants a private office. He already wants royalties. And the issue is that initially he's not going to get a private office, so he's going to be a little bit unhappy. Now, beyond that, the marketing boost window before release date is two years. I don't know exactly what that means, but I assume that if I mark it for two years prior to release, it will give me a bigger boost. I am not entirely sure. The initial market recognition importance is going to be medium and the effect of market recognition on sales is going to be medium. So essentially, I need the market to recognize either me or my products. I'm not really too sure. And then the average AI intelligence is negative 12.5, which means they're a bit dumber than they sometimes can be, but they're not really all that dumb. Now, when it comes to my character here, he is specializing in programming with a secondary leadership kind of specialization there. He is fully set as a programmer with a little bit of design skill and a little bit of art skill. He is also set up to be a leader that can do HR and socialization. So if this guy is a team leader, he can hire people, he can handle education, he can handle complaints and salaries, and that's going to be great right off the bat. That's going to be stuff I don't necessarily need to do. He can also hold meetings, he can socialize, and that's generally going to boost the team compatibility, which again is kind of fantastic. Now, when it comes to automation, he can't project manage, he can't handle sequels, iterations, and frameworks, and he can't hold or handle post-release tasks. So this guy is going to be useless for automation, but that's sort of late game anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. And then with services, I'm mostly going to focus on marketing so that we have someone on the team that can handle the whole marketing process. But it's not just going to be me from day one. In the last series, we had four founders. In this one, we're going to have three. And I couldn't come up with names for them, so I happened to steal some characters from The Sims. So we have Bella Goth right here. Bella is more focused on support than marketing, and Bella is also a programmer with a background in design as well. And then, of course, we have the man, the myth, the beard, Bob Newby, who is a designer with a little bit of a background in art as opposed to programming, at least in terms of his skill. Obviously, he can still do programming. And that's essentially it. That's who we're starting with. That's the skills of those that we're starting with. These two are just ordinary in terms of their creativity. And you can see that they're also fast learners. They have big brains and they don't like dirty or ugly environments. So we're going to have to keep them happy, keep them in a nice office. And I'm hopeful, I am hopeful that I can make this sort of work. Now, one last little thing that I said I was considering doing was increasing the number of days per month. All this is really going to do is make the game take a bit longer, but it might give me more room to think about things. So we're going to go to two days per month. I'm not sure if that's going to make things more difficult, but it will drag things out a little bit, which I mean, I only need to deal with that. 
anything that's not important will probably be cut out of the video, so it probably won't really change how long the series is, it'll just change how long I have to play it for, which is fair enough, I happen to really enjoy Software Inc. So, with that all said, let's go ahead and pick our map. Oh, hold on a minute, I have to pick more- oh, I have to pick another negative trait? Are you kidding me? Oh no. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Okay, he's gonna be a neat freak. And, I don't know, occasionally breaks his computer, forgets specialization, walks slower, gets depressed during the rain, drags in more dirt. Oh, no. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna not use cars. That's... That seems like a terrible idea. <laughs> that really se You know what? None of us are gonna use cars. We're gonna just constantly use the bus. There we go. Now we'll pick the map. And I guess we're gonna be starting... I mean, if we went to the apartments immediately, we could get my character his own office, but I just don't know. I'm thinking it kind of has to be Garage Inc., but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure there's only one room in Garage Inc. I might be wrong. I might be misremembering that. It is quite cheap, though. So I think, yeah, Garage Inc. Oh no, we can totally, totally lease another room. I completely forgot about that. But before we do any of that, we need to get some desks. And given I have $20,000, I need this to be as cheap as I can possibly get it. So we have three people. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with some nice white IKEA looking desks. And uh, we'll go one, two, three, four, five. And then for computers, it's going to be very, very simple. And again, very, very cheap. Well, it's 1500 each, but one, two, three. And for chairs, it's gonna be this standard office chair. Nothing too fancy, nothing too crazy. That right there is essentially all we need, uh, especially since it is, it's the founders, and the founders generally don't have too many needs. So this, this will be okay, but what I would like to do is just put a light right about there. In fact, maybe let's put a light right here, and let's put a light right here. And maybe right in the middle. Actually, oh, that was the basement. Uh, let's get rid of that one. So this should be fine. This will be okay. The environment's not the nicest. So let's maybe throw in a picture or two. Oh, that, I keep hitting the wrong buttons to go into the basement. What have I been playing recently that has Q and E as the, as the floors? I can't think of anything that does. I guess the, the closest, I mean, no, Two Point Campus doesn't have Q and E to go... So, oh, oh, wait, no. Isn't Two Point Campus Q&E to rotate? I think that's what I'm trying to do. Anyway, we got some uh, we got some paintings in there. The room has an environment of 176. The temperature is fine. Acoustics are whatever. And the lighting is fine. So this will do. That's almost $6,000 spent. But that's okay. Let's go ahead and bring everybody in. And let's... There they are. Okay. So it is... I keep hitting Q&E, damn it. It's day two of two of January of 1980, and I guess we need to start making money. Now, I will say, there have been some changes since I last played this game. The entire dis digital distribution system has changed, and it looks like a chunk of the UI has changed as well. I don't remember the buttons looking like this, but I, I like it. I think it looks pretty good. So, I guess what we're going to do is we're going to look for some contract work. And I suppose a logistics application might be the way to go. Maybe a couple of logistics applications. I feel like we could probably take two of them. And we'll make me the lead designer. So let's accept that work. And let's let the game run. And it seems like we're doing okay. Although a lead designer is not having his demands met. That's fine. We'll speed things up. And I don't know that we need to iterate too much on these, but I guess we could go to iteration two and get that done and develop. And I guess, I mean, when do these need to be done? Two days? So we have a couple of days to do this. That's fine. This one, I think we can promote and finish. And it was outstanding quality. So we did get $9,000. And then this one still has a day left. So we'll get that finished. And I suppose if we go to contract work, we could probably take an embedded system, put me as the lead designer, and accept it. And I suppose we'll develop this guy, we'll speed things up a little bit, we'll promote this guy, finish it, and it was inadequate quality, so not very good, but that's alright, we can, we can live with that. This guy gets that iteration done, we'll develop it, and promote it, 
and I guess finish it, and it was outstanding. So immediately, we have nearly doubled our starting cash, which is fantastic news. We have $39,000, and what I want to do with the money that we have is I would like to go into my finances, I suppose, because am I paying off a loan? I'm pretty sure I'm paying off a loan, right? So is that expenses? It's kind of difficult to tell. Um, hmm. I mean, let's see, loans. Yeah, so 45,000 to pay this one out. So I think what I'm gonna do is, since it's nearly a thousand per month, I'm gonna go ahead and take another contract and we'll take these two logistics applications, which I'm gonna have a month to do. So we'll accept those, we'll make me the lead designer again. And we can go ahead and just say, prioritize this one just to get it done. We got two days left, which I think is actually going to make things a little bit easier, having things sort of spread out across multiple days and whatnot. But we should be able to finish both of these in a reasonable amount of time. So that one, for example, promote it and finish it, and it is outstanding. This one, we can develop it, we can promote it, and we can finish it, and it was also outstanding. So now we have $55,000, now we go into loans, now we pay it off, suddenly I'm not losing nearly a thousand dollars a month which is kind of fantastic so let's go ahead and complete another couple of contracts get some money and then figure out what we're gonna be making because that's kind of the idea right we need to we need to be making things and we probably also need to call some cleaning just to tidy this place up otherwise my staff are gonna get really annoyed so I'm heading for bankruptcy at the moment which is never good Although to be quite honest, it's not quite as drastic as it looks. We're kind of, we're kind of all right. We're not, you know, we're not in that much trouble. Uh, what we'll do though is go ahead and grab, I guess, you know what? I'm going to grab all three of these and that's maybe a bit risky, but I'm going to, I'm going to grab all three. I'm going to make me the leader and I'm going to lease this office, which actually it's a bit more expensive than the loan that I was paying, but that's okay. Because I really need to move myself out of the shared office and into his own office because he's kind of miserable about it. So let's stay cheap about things. Let's not get carried away here. We don't have that much money. And uh, what we'll do is I keep hitting q and &E. I'm going to keep doing that for a while till I get used to playing Software Inc. again. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll put his chair right there. We'll get his actually, you know what, a minute. Hold on a minute. Let me just pick this up and put it on that desk. And I guess let me... I suppose sell the chair right there. I want to sell one piece of furniture. Don't ask again. There we go. So this, we're going to assign it to me, which makes this my office. So I'm going to be less miserable, which is great. And I guess what I can do is, you know, get a nice, uh, get a nice plant in there. Maybe I'll go and get a little, little, little picture for the wall. So something like the uh, the cat right there looks pretty great and i could throw some rugs in there to boost the environment as well which honestly i'm not against doing i think it's going to be important to keep everybody happy and you know what maybe we do the same thing over here maybe a nice rug in the middle of this room would be a great idea so let's just throw it right about there and that seems okay and i suppose we could throw a bookshelf in as well so we'll do a bookshelf there as well as, let's see, can I get myself a water cooler? I absolutely can. So we'll do a water cooler there, which I'm wondering, can I put it against the wall? Oh, I totally can. Yeah. So water cooler right against the wall. That should be fine. That should keep everyone relatively happy. It should keep me a lot happier. And now everyone's going to be working at their maximum efficiency, which is exactly what we want. So we'll let them just work on the design of these three different things and i guess we could we could probably promote them now but i think what we'll do is let them get to there and just start developing each of them and uh this one will apparently finish tomorrow that's fine uh we'll get everyone in we'll go ahead and finish these things it'll be like 25 ish thousand dollars which is kind of fantastic so promote you and finish and it is outstanding we will promote you and speed things up a little bit and finish it is outstanding promote you finish it is outstanding so we're up to thirty-one thousand dollars, which is kind of fantastic let's go ahead 
and take a look at the event calendar and let's see what's coming out so we have office software coming out next month we have office software coming out the month after we have a simulation game coming out in october we have another simulation game coming out in november coaster simulator and then december has a lot coming out and it's also interesting that it's split across multiple days that is slightly intimidating i'm gonna be honest so i think what i'd like to do is maybe specialize a little bit kind of early on i'm really tempted i'm really really tempted obviously we're not doing an operating system but i think releasing a game and trying to make a game successful would be kind of neat and i think obviously the lead designer kind of needs to be well it kind of has to be me right it, it kind of has to be me so i think i'm gonna make a roller coaster simulator because i like that idea and i also love the name roaster coaster mostly because if you say it in sort of a northern english accent roaster coaster like it you know what i mean you say it kind of like cheryl or whatever her name is roaster coaster that's it's pretty good um <laughs> so that's what it's gonna be we're gonna we're gonna be making roaster coaster. i'm gonna say it like that every single time um <laughs> It is going to be using an existing uh, frame framework and uh, we're not going to do customizable characters. We're not doing branching stories. It needs physics. That's that's kind of like the big thing that uh, I feel like Roaster Coaster is going to need. <laughs> we're going to do post processing and uh, <laughs> we'll do some adaptive music. Sorry. I, <laughs> I love one of my favorite things about my job is that I don't know if anything I'm saying is remotely funny, but if it cracks me up, then I'm here for it. So <laughs> I'm, I'm here for it. All right. I'm here for it. Uh, okay. <laughs> the roaster coaster is uh, <laughs> going to use these right here. It's apparently already got some operating systems in mind. It's going to take about a year. Expected interest is 65%. Wasted interest is 18. Can I bring that interest up with like dialogue trees? Dialogue Trees brings it up to approximately two years, though. Which I don't really want. Mod support is kind of useless. Advanced HUD. So Dialogue Trees is kind of the big one, but I feel like that's because I'm... Like, thus far, the only thing I'm using from the engine that I've decided to use here is... Uh, like, what if I added that in there? Recorded Dialogue. It gets... I guess it gets a boost from the framework, right? Which is fine. I think I'm just going to go with something simple that's going to take about a year. And then in terms of the operating systems, I mean, let's look at... Where am I looking here? Most recent release was this one. 560,000 active users. That's not bad. I guess we'll remove this. 65% expected. 1.1 million potential consumers. But to be fair, this thing is... I mean, if we auto-balance this... Uh, this thing is, I'm pretty sure if we go back to the first page, it's, it's $65 that like we can make it 55 and we're going to make potentially good money out of that. So I'm kind of okay with that. It's going to be me that leads it up, which is what we're looking for. My inspiration is admittedly not very good right now. Uh, so what if we give it, here's the thing. I, I'm slightly concerned about the fact that creativity is kind of a big deal. So if I give it to Bella, whose skill is in games, uh, I don't know about that. We are going to need a publisher, though. This is this is going to be something that we kind of happen to need. And if we go with a publisher, they want this releasing in September of '81. Uh, I need a publisher, though. I think I I think I need a publisher for for printing, to be quite honest. Uh, so and maybe marketing as well. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go with a publisher. I, I guess I don't love that we're doing that, but expected interest, 82%. I'm willing to do it. Let's go ahead and develop it. And let's go ahead and grab ourselves, I guess, uh, a couple of contracts. So we'll have me be the lead designer for those. We can accept that work. And I want to prioritize these contracts before we go too crazy on good old Roaster Costa and hopefully we'll get ourselves a little bit of money here so we'll go ahead and just get this one done today we can finish it we can promote you and promote you it was outstanding quality so we're we're doing good like we're doing okay and i'm pretty sure i don't have any bills so no complaints here i guess 
uh, finish and finish. Right. So those were all outstanding. My reputation is also outstanding. And this thing is coming along. So, I mean, where is it? Where is it going to be lacking? I mean, it is the design phase right now. I wonder if we should hire another employee. Or maybe at the very least what we do is hire cleaning. It's a thousand per month though. So you know what? I'm just going to call cleaning to get this place sorted out. And I think we'll manage. I think we'll manage just fine with that. I don't think I need to hire anybody to, you know, come in here regularly. Although I am really tempted to hire someone to work on this. I mean, we have a year and a half to do it, but that includes, obviously, I mean, we're in the design phase. That's going to include the alpha and beta phases as well. So very tempting. Very, I keep hitting Q&E, damn it. Very, very tempting to hire another person. And I think we should, because we can afford it, right? If we keep doing, oh my God, that is a lot of money. Uh, if we keep doing what we're doing, then we'll be fine. That's kind of how I'm looking at it. If we if we bring someone else in, I mean, we're not going to be paying them more than we're making from contracts, so it shouldn't really be an issue, right? That's that's how I'm choosing to look at it anyway. Whether or not that's the case is <laughs> it's another matter entirely, but that's how I'm choosing to look at it. So let's develop this thing, and let's just go ahead and, I guess... We'll promote this thing, we'll do that, and it's inadequate. But you know what? Thus far, this company is inadequate, so there you go. Now, speaking of inadequacy, I think the chairs we have are kind of terrible, so I'm going to upgrade those a little bit just to make them a little bit better. And I also want to make them blue because I think it looks kind of cool. So that'll keep people comfortable. And I'm thinking I am going to go ahead and I am going to get another employee. Although I also want to go and just change the style of these computers a little bit. I want to make them sort of more of a, a white color and then sort of a, a white front on them. And tertiary is going to be some nice dark keys just because I think it looks pretty cool. So that's that's what we got for those. And that's fine by me. Now, in terms of employees, we I, I don't really know what we need. I mean, I guess we should probably look at my employees currently and see their general skills and whatnot. So we have a programmer. You're a programmer and a designer. You're mostly a designer. I guess we could probably use an artist. Although, actually, we could probably use another designer. So let's look for a designer. Although nothing's really lacking. I guess 2D could be pretty good. We'll go for a secondary programmer. We'll go for low salary because... You know, just deal with it. Specialization. I'd like to prioritize 2D. And I'd like to prioritize audio. And I suppose we'll begin looking. So, compatibility is good for everyone. I guess we could. Oh, you are... Well, you are... It is a low salary that you've got. So, you are kind of one star on everything, which is fair enough. Is everyone going to be one star on everything? Oh, no. Hold on a minute. Sanford Stevenson. You're a, capa you've a capacitor and walk it off. So it doesn't get tired until you're drained. Not emotionally affected by bodily needs. Nice, my man. Okay. I think Sanford Stevenson is who we're going to hire. Unless we have anyone else. No, Sanford Stevenson he is the oldest of the bunch. But that's fine. He does specialize in 2D editors, though. Do we have anyone... You're not bad. You specialize in office software, though. You specialize in games. I guess we'll go with Sanford. I've got limited funds. Am I sure I want to continue? Yes. So we have Sanford. And I suppose this is now where we're going to grab some, uh, some contracts. So we'll go with these logistics applications. We'll have me lead the general process of it. And uh, we'll go ahead and just prioritize both of those over roaster coaster and just make some money because now we actually have a salary to pay which is eh, probably fine we probably don't need to worry too much about it let's finish this it was outstanding that was some money and then this one we have we should have i think that's sanford right there we do have sanford right there okay so this is getting done we can develop it quite nicely to that spot 
and we'll fix three bugs and it's outstanding. So again, we have money. We have $69,000, which if I do say so myself, is kind of nice. So here's the tricky part about hiring people. They have what's called needs. And in Sanford's case, he happens to want food. So I'm going to have to get him some to get him back to work. So what I'm going to do is pick up this uh, bookcase and I guess it can live right there, but I have to get him something to eat. Now, it's going to be nothing crazy, but we could give him a vending machine, which admittedly is going to be very noisy. Or I guess we could look at giving him a fridge where they can keep their own food. That is going to give me some bills, though. Uh, espresso machine. I feel like a, I feel like a mini fridge is kind of like my only option. I'm going to be honest. So we'll put a table there. We'll put a mini fridge there and let's see what happens. Is he, did he bring his own food? I, I have my doubts, but maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow Sanford's going to be like, you know what I should do? I should bring my own food to work. So let's see. He's chilling. He's gradually getting hungry. He's working on roaster coaster and he's still getting hungry. He doesn't really seem to worry too much about it. He doesn't seem to be too annoyed. He's going home. So good day. That's a good day for good old, uh, good old Sanford right there. That's actually not bad at all. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead. We're going to take another contract. going to be two logistics applications led by moi. And we're going to just take those, make some money. And I think with Roaster Coaster, we're going to get iteration two done. And at that point, we're probably going to push it into the alpha stage. And so now in October of 1980, we are actively developing Roaster Coaster, which is fantastic news. Now, what I would like to do is I would like to stay on top of training for my employees. So I need to go in and change my role. I need to set me as a team leader. And then if I go into the teams tab, I need to go to the core team and look at HR management. Now, the good thing is I can have this team, you know, the wages handled, the complaints handled, the roles are going to be unchanged, I guess. Let's see, active task specs. Your leader will automatically pick which specializations to prioritize for hiring and education based on the team's active tasks. Nice. Uh, education level is going to be up to three. Education amount is number two. So two people can go in education at any one time. And we're going to have one uh, programmer, two designers, and nobody else for now. Specializations. We're not looking for law marketing. We'll look for support. I guess we can look at those. And we're not really looking for any of these either. So that's fine. Traits that we're looking for. I want fast learners. And I want... What else do I want? I do want fast learners. And I do want people with big brains. I don't know which one I want more though. I feel like fast learners will be a good idea. And then we can say, you know, we don't want anyone that's going to break their computer. We don't want anyone that's dragging in more dirt. We don't want anyone that thinks it's just the flu. So that's fine. Salary is going to be low. That's fine. We're not going to be hiring anyone. The main thing we're doing is having me as a team leader actually just gave us a meeting. So that should keep the employees relatively happy. And hopefully... We can get Roaster Coaster done in a reasonable amount of time. Now, right away, we're starting to run into some issues. We are spending three and a half thousand dollars on salaries every month. Our bills are three and a half thousand dollars and the license fees for everything that we're using at the moment is six thousand eight hundred dollars with about minus five hundred dollars in dividends recently. So unless we're making money, we're spending money and we're perpetually sitting around $35,000 despite me regularly going ahead and getting us some contract work, which is frustrating. But what we're going to try and do here is we're going to try and have Sanford Stevenson lead up this contract, which gave me 6,600 up front, which is fine. And I want to prioritize it. I'm also keenly aware of the fact that at the moment, Roaster Coaster is nowhere near finished and it releases this September. So it's going to need to probably release in a really unfinished state. But to be fair, it's 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 1981. So eh, there's, there's a chance that no one's going to really. I mean, they'll notice, but it's also it's it's 1981. It's, it's not like it's not like they're getting Planet Coaster. You know what I mean? 
Th this ain't going to be no Planet Coaster. This is going to be uh, whatever 1981's version of Planet Coaster would look like. It doesn't really... The, the point is, is that, fr <laughs> frankly, I don't have high hopes for uh, Rosta Costa, but... We'll see how it goes. I'm also really hoping we can finish this sometime soon, because as it stands, it's not doing too good. Apparently, my computers are getting slow. Let's call cleaning. Let's call IT support. Let's get things looked at a little bit. Make sure all the computers are doing okay. And hopefully, that will speed things up ever so slightly and get us moving a bit faster in terms of development. It seems like it kind of did. So what we'll do is promote this. We'll fix like three bugs and we'll push it out there which is inadequate, but it did give me $24,000. So frankly, I'm, I'm willing to take that. I think that's okay. And I think in terms of Roaster Coaster, pff, I mean, it kind of needs to go into, it kind of needs to go into, into beta at this stage. It's nowhere near done, but it, it, it kind of needs to be in beta. So we're going, we're going to push it through and uh, I'm going <laughs> to, I'm gonna grab myself some game assets and that's what we're gonna work on. Let's see here. Let's, I guess, have me be the project lead on the game assets for the next two months. And even if Roaster Coaster fails horribly, at least we'll we'll make some money from the contracts, and frankly, I'll probably fire Sanford because he's bloody useless. And so the day of reckoning has come. It is September of 1981. We need to release Roaster Coaster to the world and we need to see what's going to happen to it because I'm really hoping it ends up being good and isn't just utterly terrible, which there is a solid chance that it will be because I'm pretty sure it is a complete another piece of but yeah, well, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens to it. We'll see how things go. The good news is I'm working on an embedded system that's going to pay me an absolute ton of money. So if Roaster Coaster falls apart, I'm still gonna make money. So we'll fire Sanford, we'll stick with contracts, we'll try making something else. I do suspect that Roaster Coaster is gonna be terrible, especially if we look at the event calendar. Well, we actually have a console operating system coming out. We have this contract due. We have an RTS game. We don't actually have any other any other uh, simulation games that are coming out this year. Although there is a chance that there has been one that's come out recently, which there hasn't. It's been almost a year since coaster simulator oh my god it's been almost a year since coaster simulator and i'm putting out roaster coaster it's very obvious what i'm trying to do isn't it it's very obvious what kind of company nerdrasoft is right now i right, take q again oh boy this this could be a disaster but i'm gonna be that guy and what i mean by that is i'm gonna say some very very fateful words we're not gonna know if it's gonna be a disaster until next time, because I'm going to leave it there for today. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. It's been an absolute pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.